Jambo jambo guys. This is your guys Zeke and welcome back to Zeke show. Guys, it's me again in the studio. So nilipata studio it does me some justice nikifanya video kwa studio. So guys, today we have a special topic we want to talk about Vri visa. What is a Vri visa? What is the uh, the advantages and how to acquire a Vri visa? And what is the difference between a Vri visa and my visa? Mimi niko na company visa. And what is a Vri visa? What is the difference? So I will tell you about the difference and then talk about the Vri visa. So my visa it's a company visa. It means nilileta na company kutoka Kenya wakanisimamia ticket wakanisimamia I mean flight ticket from Kenya to here wakanisimamia medical vile nilifika doa wananisimamia accommodation wananisimamia medical insurance wanipatia transport nikienda kazi na wananipatia salary kila mwezi and they give me gratuity money after one year nikimaliza contract after one year they'll give me gratuity money and vacation money if I don't like also to stay tutamazana nao ro safi watanipatia ticket back home like that is a company which is walinilipia kila kitu it's free if i want to stay with them this work permit is renewable after every year and it's free from my employer i don't have to pay any coin for this one what and new contract yangu watanipatia new id new visa which works for another one year if i need to renew renew or work again with them i will renew and it's, it will be free so i will sign with them renew free so let's talk about free visa a free visa is the same as my visa but in this case you love to pay some expenses from your pocket so free visa is acquired from an employer or a sponsor maybe you sponsor ni mkatari maybe you sponsor ni someone amefungua biashara and uh, akona biashara ndogo but he can only who he can only have 10 employees but he has 20 visas or 20 work permit what he does the balance of 10 work, working working permit at as user to anyone willing to buy and then you do whatever you like what is a free visa a free visa is a working permit whereby you are not tied to any company it means work on a visa under one company now this company you are not working with them so it means work on a visa ya employer A but you are working for employer B C any employer you like to work with freely without any objection but remember free visa is kind of illegal in Qatar see it is allowed vile so but wase wanapenda free visa which is uh, okay it's good for some people kuna wale wamepata advantage wamepata kazi poor but actually free visa it's kind of risky also so guys free visa tuko na categories ya free visa free visa unaweza pata from one employer na kupatia free visa ya labor general supervisor cause have classes of visas professional visas and then uh, have also skilled labor visas so these all visas they they are different differently classified with price also so let's talk about the cheapest visa or any visa tukuna visa za wanaume which are separate na visa za madem which are separate so if you get a, a labor visa which is the cheapest it means ukenda kutafuta kazi uko nje your salary itakuwa categorized like ya help itakuwa salary kubwa sana na ukipata maybe a general supervisor or skilled labor and above at least you can negotiate for a better salary so if you also asking for a free visa, uliza visa unapewa ni gani? Unapewa visa ya labor, unapewa visa ya supervisor ama skill labor, maybe certain profession kama maybe wewe ni fire marshal, maybe wewe ni safety officer, maybe wewe ni general supervisor at least something yenye inaonyesha wewe ni professional utapata salary poa. So kama kuna visa ya madem, visa ya madem it's around 8000 to 10000 Qatarian misama challenge between 6000 to 7000 Qatar real so if you calculate into kenyan money it is up to maybe more than 250000 to acquire a free visa either you are in qatar or from kenya so ukiwa na free visa kitu ya kwanza you don't have an employer au employer the person who sold the visa to you 
is like a dummy employer what they do huwa wanakuwekea mna make a mutual agreement because to make it legal huwa nakufungulia mpaka bank account but they have to keep the ATM in Qatar wewe zienda kwa kwa bank at kwa tele withdraw pesa only ATM everyone has an ATM so what they do wanaku employ kama employer wao wanakupatia hata contract ndio kutengenezea visa but after wamesha kutengenezea visa mpaka ATM uko nayo they give you freedom to go and do whatever you like with your life in Qatar but also you need to renew this visa yearly so you have to come back to them with around 3000 wengine wanaku manipulate wanakutisha 3k 2k 5k I mean more more money but actually visa ni 1200 or less so ukipo hii visa it means this guy is your employer but it ajakupatia restrictions so every month lazima akuweke dummy salary in your account na kuwekea salary but hii account iko frozen uwezi toa yeye tu ndiye anaeka pesa na anazitoa at a, some certain given time anazitoa so that even the government when they come back to check kama when this huyo employer ama wewe huyo jamaa anafanya kazi they see there's some transaction between you and the employer so it means uko kazi so if this employer threatens to threatens to block you so as ile let's say maybe they threaten to maybe cancel your visa or uh, like kukuwekea uh, kesi at umekuwa abscond duty you can also appeal because this guy whatever they are doing is illegal maybe akienda kuambia umekuwa abscond duty you are making sure pesa mingi za kurenew id you can go to police and report a case a provide evidence kama wewe ni any employer wako since uja kwa ukipunch in ama ukilog in on duty au na any record with them so they cannot so sometimes unafa ukwe mjanja sa zile watu wanajaribu ku manipulate so the free visa disadvantages ya kwanza ni free visa una gratuity it means umejisimamia Qatar au jabalisha to that company you only like a freelancer person working up and down any company you like so at the end of the year una gratuity ukiumia auna medical insurance ukiumia ni wewe na maisha yako ukimaliza one year ukitaka kwenda vacation it's on you either one year two years three years it's on you so it's very important kama unaweza kwa mjanja ukuje na company visa which is at least much better but the advantage also for brief sites you get room to negotiate about salary and working hours if you are going to uh, to apply for any company so these are only basic information that you know patia juju i've not i don't have much time to go inside but these are the basics So the other thing about free visa you have to worry about your accommodation your transport and food so some companies they give you food they give you transport and accommodation so for free visa let's assume una lipwa salary ya 5000 how much is the rent it's from that 5000 how much is your transport how much is your water bill how much is your electricity bill all from this 5000 so and this Qatar size ya kuna jobs So you can imagine the hustle ni zenda through after jobs na free visa size na free visa ni more than 8000 Qatar yali ya warembo ama ya madem so 8000 it's almost enough ya kwenda Europe si wende Europe pono kuje Qatar ni 8000 8000 more than maybe kind up to maybe 260000 and more so guys go nyu wajanja okay guys and the other and the other lasting guys doa size ya kuna job so if you are willing to come to Qatar I, I will recommend you to use a company visa like a employer visa usikuje na free visa size this is not the right time ya kuja na free visa so hope uh, if you demo kusaidia it's only basic guys kama uko na any other information as acheza na comments pale ushe na mabishti please to get to help someone okay guys cheers and see you next time